CropX combines advanced cloud technology with affordable sensors in the ground. CropX technology scans your field and analyzes its different zones. CropX, the internet of soil. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Vegetables West Magazine reporting to you from the UC Research Station at Five Points where growers gather today for a, a seminar focused on dealing with crop pests in the field. Processing tomato growers have noticed more damage due to nematodes as nematodes are breaking the resistant strains in tomato varieties. And here's Anton Plug from the UC to share a little bit more about that and exactly what's happening. I've been working on uh, the occurrence of resistance breaking root knot nematodes in tomato for a little bit. Uh, the problem is that, uh, of course, in processing tomato, there are a lot of varieties that are resistant to nematodes. But over the last couple of years, we've seen more and more fields where resistant uh, varieties have been grown that are still coming down with nematode symptoms. And so there's something going on there that allows the nematodes to still uh, feed and cause symptoms and cause damage to these varieties. So we're trying to figure out uh, what's different among between the regular nematodes and the nematodes that we find in these fields and if they're kind of behaving all the same. So we've been collecting a bunch of uh, soil samples from such fields, taking them to the lab in Riverside and trying to figure out if they're really able to break uh, this resistance and what they're doing to these different varieties. So, so far what we have found that uh, at least there is two different species of these nematodes that are able to break through the resistance, but uh, so far they are kind of all behaving in a similar way. So they're all able to reproduce on resistant varieties and about reproduce equally well on those resistant varieties. So there doesn't seem to be a big difference amongst these nematode populations that we collected from different parts of, of, the, of the valley. Uh, at the same time, they're also able to cause pretty dramatic symptoms on these resistant breaking varieties. So our ultimate goal is trying to figure out if we can somehow identify beforehand whether or not a resistance breaking variety is present in the field or if we're dealing with just the normal, regular root knot nematodes. And that's kind of what we're trying to figure out here. And what we're also trying to figure out is if these nematodes are also able to break through resistance in other resistant crop varieties. If not, then maybe we can use those to kind of lower the nematode populations in those fields. Because normally if you would grow a resistant crop, the nematode would not reproduce. So uh, we're hoping to figure out also if these nematodes are, for example, able to break through resistant peppers or beans or cowpeas. If not, we might be able to use those type of crops as a way to reduce nematode populations in the field. Thank you, Anton. Learn more about what's going on in your industry by reading Vegetables West magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.